Hi Brawlies, Marvin here from TechBureau.com where we do unboxings, reviews, and sexy bureaus. And today I'm going to share with you an updated setup tour featuring my endgame work from home setup. This is kinda special as I feel like looking back my setup has grown and improved significantly throughout the years and in a lot of ways you're all part of this journey. In this video, I'll share with you all the things that I use daily when it comes to both productivity and gaming. But before that, a word from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Canon. The Canon PIXMA G3010 is an all-in-one solution for high-volume printing with a built-in refillable tank that features a transparent window for you to see the ink levels at a glance. It also features a one-touch direct wireless connection and supports borderless printing. Check out the link below to learn more. With that being said, let's get into it. Alright guys, there are a lot of things that I want to show you starting here on the left side of my setup. Right here on the top of my IKEA Lerberg shelf, we have some switches and most of you already know that I'm into mechanical keyboards. So of course, we have a variety of different switches displayed here. Below that, we have the limited edition MSI Golden Lucky Dragon for their 35th anniversary guarding my desk setup. Underneath it, we have the Synology DS920 Plus NAS that I use mainly for backing up my files. By the way, I'll put all the links to my reviews below for most of the things that I'll show in this video in case you're interested in their individual reviews. Now, besides the DS920 Plus, we have the ASUS RT-AX86U router that honestly, I think I need to move to open space for better efficiency and I'll work on that soon. And lastly, on this side, we just have some storage boxes for miscellaneous items and tools. I also have an IKEA Helmer here for extra storage. Now, moving towards the desk proper, right here I have my Audio Technica MH50XBT that I use mainly for editing videos and listening to music. I replaced the stock earpods with this Misodico leather earpods that perfectly matches my aesthetic. And to partner with that, I have this nice wooden headphone stand from Iron Meets Wood. Now, to jumpstart my day, I have this black tumbler from Asrock that I use for my iced coffee, and we also have a wooden coaster here from Ikai. Behind that, we have the latest addition to my setup, which is a real plant from Ficus. I actually did an unboxing of this, which again, you can check on the links below. And right here, I just have a simple Himalayan salt lamp to give warmth and calmness to my setup. Now, before we move on towards the rest of my desk, let me just show you real quick my live streaming setup because I actually get a lot of questions about it, so yeah. So here on the left side, I have a ball head for my main camera that is mounted on a monitor arm. This allows me to move my camera around depending on the angle that I need. Above that, I have another ball head for mounting accessories like another lighting equipment, microphone, and things around that nature. I'm actually using a loop alloy monitor mount with three arms, two for the ball heads that I just showed you, and another one for my Saramonic Soundbird V1 shotgun microphone that I can easily move around using a cheap boom arm as you can see here. Both my MH50X BT headphones and my shotgun microphone are powered by the Bringer UMC22 audio interface nicely tucked underneath my wooden desk shelf again from Iron Meets Wood. This desk shelf is super solid made out of real acacia and mahogany wood. Now going back to my live streaming setup, for my overhead camera, I'm using a Sony ZV-1 compact camera which is decent enough for its purpose. And for lighting the overhead setup, I'm using the Yeelight Smart Bar Pro that I can quickly adjust using a wireless knob right here. Both are mounted using a DIY solution. For my main lighting, I'm using the Ambitful fl video light with a 60-inch parabolic softbox. I also did a dedicated video for my live streaming setup. Again, check the links below if you're interested. Now in terms of audio, aside from my MH50X BT headphones, I also have the Cooler Master MH751 gaming headset which of course is the one I use for competitive gaming especially with its amazing microphone. And for music listening in general, I'm using a pair of Audio Engine HD3 speakers from Digital Walker unorthodoxly mounted on the wall simply because I don't have space for it on my desk. And aside from that, in terms of audio, I also have the Marshall UX Bridge Voice also from Digital Walker by the way, that not only I can use for music listening when my computer is turned off, but also as my Google Assistant for my smart home setup. This is probably one of the most important parts of my studio, simply because it allows me to control my smart devices without even lifting a single finger. Speaking of smart devices, I'm using the Zero Smart RGB LED strip around my table, 
and I also have some smart bulbs, plugs, and power strip from Global Gears Distribution. Now, on top of the Marshall UX Bridge, I have an IKEA lamp, which again adds warmth to my setup. And then around that, we have a few accessories here. We have a wooden pen holder, also from Iron Meats Wood, another ficus plant, and another tumbler that I use for water. Of course, it also has a wooden coaster to go along with it. These wooden coasters are actually just freebies when you order a leather desk mat from Ikai. Speaking of desk mat, what I have here is a vegan leather desk mat from Ikai. And I actually got three of these, a black, brown, and the one I chose, this nice gray color that perfectly matches my setup, especially my gray walls and the gray accent on my PC's casing. Now, whenever I play competitive FPS, I place my Cooler Master MP511 gaming mouse on top of it. In terms of gaming, my gaming mouse for the longest time now is the Logitech G304 with this custom 3D printed cover, but I'm also still trying out the Fantec Helios Pro XD5. Both fit perfectly with my hand. As for the keyboard, my main keyboard right now is the Mountain Everest Max from Good Game PH. And I chose this over my custom GMMK Pro and other mechanical keyboards here in the studio because of its feature set that perfectly matches my needs and my workflow when it comes to both productivity and gaming. I love the detachable numpad that I can place on either side, and it also has extra customizable buttons. Not to mention the customizable media control unit that I can also place on either side. Besides, I already modified this keyboard with lubed and film switches, modified stabilizers, and custom keycaps to make it sound and feel way better compared to its stock configuration. I simply love this keyboard right now. By the way, shout out to Tokis for the personalized wooden artisan keycaps, and again to Iron Meats Wood for the wooden wrist rest. I don't even need to use my Elgato Stream Deck right here for most of my tasks, but I still use this for live streaming since I usually remove my keyboard when I go live. So yeah. I also have a wooden tray here also, again, <laughs> from Iron Meats Wood for my accessories. And I also have a couple of 3D printed drawers that I designed and printed using my Ender 3 V2 3D printer. Now, even though I already have a couple of cameras here on my desk setup, I still have a Lenovo 500 Full HD webcam that I use for Windows Hello automatic login. It is nicely placed on top of my ultra-wide monitor, which is the Cooler Master GM34CW. I absolutely love this ultra-wide monitor, and changing my old triple monitor setup for something minimal like this makes everything more organized and less clutter. It has good color reproduction, perfect for my content creation, and the ultra-wide form factor gives me more than enough real estate for multitasking. And even for gaming, it is also pretty decent with up to 144Hz refresh rate, 1 millisecond response time, and is G-Sync compatible. Speaking of Cooler Master, let's go over here on the right side and take a look at my main workstation, which features the Cooler Master TD500 mesh white chassis. And in terms of the components inside, we have an AMD Ryzen 7 3700X being cooled by Inoctua NHU12A CPU cooler. We also have a substantial 32GB of G-Skill Trident Z Neo 3600MHz RAM, an ASUS ROG Strix 3070 graphics card, XPG SX8200 Pro 512GB NVMe SSD, and a couple of SK Hynix S31 1TB SSDs, all of which are connected to the ASUS ROG Strix B550A motherboard and is powered by the Cooler Master V850 Gold V2 White. All of these components are cooled by 6 Noctua NF812X 25K fans. If you want to learn more about this build, you can watch my video, again linked below. Now, above my main workstation, I know it is not the best possible placement, but I have the Troublemaker triple keyboard stand here, again from Iron Meats Wood. Now, in terms of the gaming chair of choice, I'm still currently using the Under Chair Fanatic gaming chair, which is super comfortable with soft cushions and wide width that supports my body size and weight. But I also have the Noble Chairs Hero Gaming Chair for my secondary desk setup on my right side table. I also use it for shooting, unboxing, and other stuff. And that's about it for the primary desk setup. Now let's go over here on the right side table where most of the content creation is being produced. Starting here on this side, of course, since our sponsor for today is Canon, we have the Canon G3010 printer. To be honest, the one that uses this the most is my wife as she's the one responsible for admin tasks here. She mentioned, the overall setup process is pretty straightforward for beginners with step-by-step -step guide and she was able to use the printer immediately. Again, this printer features a one-touch direct wireless connection with a built-in transparent refillable tank for high-volume printing. Good for office spaces and work-from-home environment like this 
especially if you deal with tangible paperwork all the time. Again, check the link below if you're interested to know more. Now, besides it, I have the Realme Book laptop, which I use as my main work laptop and is also being used by my wife for the usual admin tasks. Again, check out the link below for the full review of this laptop. Now, aside from the Realme Book, I have my custom GMMK Pro keyboard from Rotobox Philippines, again with a partner Wooden Restressed from Iron Meets Wood. This is one of my all-time favorite keyboards simply because of how nice it feels and sounds after all the painstaking modifications I've done on this keyboard. If you're interested to learn how I built this and some sound tests, again, check the links below. Now, like I said, this part of the L-shaped desk is where I usually shoot my unboxing videos and I also have a couple of permanently mounted newer video lights on both sides here that gives overall balanced lighting to my subjects and I also have a DIY overhead camera rig here for my top-down shots. As you've already guessed, my L-shaped table is also from Iron Meets Wood and this was actually one of the first wooden products that I had that kickstarted all of this wooden theme setup that I absolutely love. I also have a few cheap plastic drawers here, again to keep things tidy and in terms of the cable management, while I may not have done a good job here, it's pretty decent in my opinion. And lastly, and probably one of the most important pieces of equipment here, I have an APC uninterrupted power supply to keep my PC, Synology NAS, and other major devices safe from power interruption. And there you have it guys. To close this out, I just want to say thank you to all of you guys, my viewers, and most importantly, my subscribers, because quite honestly, without you, this wouldn't even be possible. Throughout the years, I've been slowly improving my setup, not only in terms of aesthetics, but also in terms of work efficiency and sanity. And I think I finally came up with something calm and relaxing that balances all the stresses of work and pressure. Of course, huge thanks as well to all the brands that keep on trusting us when it comes to providing you with honest reviews of their products with the best quality content possible. And lastly, thank you Canon for sponsoring this video. Alright guys, thank you for watching. You know what to do with that red button. Have a great day guys. You're awesome. Thank you.